Hello and welcome to another installment of our Envy Quick Theme video series. Today we're going to be focused on color changes. Perhaps you want to develop a custom theme to match your brand or the brand of one of your clients. Today we're going to be using the Envisionative brand for our how-to video here. I went ahead, I downloaded the Envisionative logo so that we could use it in our local DNN instance. I also pre-selected some colors from our brand. Based on um, industry best practices, most sites are going to have a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary color associated with the brand. There are always exceptions to the rule, but this is pretty much the standard uh, for any site that you're going to have. I went ahead and pre-selected those colors and placed the hex values for the colors in Notepad for my primary, secondary, tertiary, and I also chose a color for our font. Let's switch back over to our local DNN instance where I've already set up my environment for Envy Quick Theme. If you need help in setting up your environment and meeting all the prerequisites to begin developing using MV Quick Theme, be sure to check out our first two videos in this video series, the first one entitled Intro, the second one entitled Project Setup. The combination of the two will give you all the details that you need in order to efficiently and effectively get set up and using MV Quick Theme for local custom theme development in DNN. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's update the logo in settings, site settings, to our Envisionative logo. I've already placed it in the directory here, so I can select it, enter, save, and then we're going to refresh the page and the logo will show. You can tell already that we're going to have a few things to work out as it relates to the colors and the use of the logo. Our logo has white in it and the background of MB Quick Theme is a very light color so the contrast is not sufficient for the brand. Also, obviously these colors that are in MB Quick Theme do not match our brand colors so we need to update those. Before we jump into code, you'll see that I have a Get Bash window open here already. I have changed the directory into the theme directory and I have run gulp build just to make sure my environment is up and running and everything is compiling as it is expected to be. I'm going to leave this window open but first I want to run our gulp watch command. What this will do is monitor for any file changes within the code base and it will compile the files upon save. So anytime we make a change to a file and save, if that file needs to be compiled, we won't have to do that manually. Gulp Watch will take care of that for us. So I'll go ahead and execute this command and let that be running in the background. Okay, great. It is started. So now let's flip over into Visual Studio Code where I've already opened up the project. Again, this is just the, the theme directory, and I've opened up the, that folder in Visual Studio Code. So what we're going to do to modify the colors is we're going to navigate to our source folder. SRC is short for source, and SCSS. This is where all of your SAS files are for the project. In the variables folder is where we have a partial SAS file for colors. It's a nice, neat, and organized file to very quickly identify and change colors within the theme. You'll notice we have variables already set up for variants of gray, as well as your primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. In addition, we have a few variables for border colors, link colors, and your font. So you've probably already guessed we need to update the values here. Now, in MB Quick Theme, the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors are RGB values. 
Don't let that throw you off. You can use hex or RGB format for colors, just like you can within CSS. So I'm going to toggle over to my notepad where I have pre-selected and saved those colors. I'm going to copy my primary color and then I will paste that color into here. We'll copy our secondary, secondary color. And we'll paste that into the secondary color variable. Copy our tertiary color. Paste that in. And then lastly, I'm going to grab my font color that I've already selected and paste it into the font color variable. Now, before I save this, I want to remind you, when I hit save here, the gulp watch command is going to automatically detect this SAS change and it's going to recompile all my SAS files for me. So theoretically, I should be able to save this file, switch over to my browser, and refresh the page and see the changes immediately. So let's go ahead and save this file. I'm going to toggle over to my Git Bash window. Notice it's already detected the SAS changes and compiled all the SAS files successfully. I'm going to switch back over to my theme DNN instance here and I'm going to do a hard refresh on the page since it was uh, SAS changes. And there we see all of our color changes. Our primary color has been used in the navigation menu as well as in the footer area. The Secondary color has been used in the gradient for the banner. The tertiary color has been used for the top bar as well as some content bar area here, as well as the hover for the menu. That's great. I mean, in a very simple, quick fashion, we've been able to update all of our major colors. And, th and that is used all throughout the site. So when you start placing content and you use the primary and the secondary and the tertiary colors, they're automatically going to take shape based on those simple changes that we made in that one SAS file. Now, you can see that we still have a problem here though. Our logo has not got the contrast that we want for this site. So I wanna change the color of this nav bar background. I'll have to go to a different place in the code in order to be able to do that. I'm going to toggle back over to Visual Studio Code and I'm going to navigate to our partials folder here because the change that I need to make is not a CSS change. It's not a SAS change. It's going to be a change in one of our user controls. Here you'll see that we have four partial user controls, one for the footer, one for the header, and a couple of others. We're going to focus on the header partial here and if you'll notice this section is the entire header section and it has a background class of bg-light-gray this is a built-in bootstrap class that can be used that's the thing that is so beautiful about this is bootstrap is used so you're Welcome to leverage any of the class definitions that are inside of Bootstrap in order to modify your theme and make it look great. So I'm going to change bg-light-gray to bg-dark. That will give us a dark background and I'm going to save this. Now if I cycle back over to my get bash window, you'll notice nothing happened. Why is that? Well nothing needed to be compiled. This is a user control. So it is really just part of what renders the HTML. So there is nothing to compile there. So I should be able to save this file and then go and look in our browser, refresh, and see the changes immediately. Okay, so let's flip back over to the site. Let's do a refresh and we should see the background color of that bar changed. Great, and that's all there is to making color changes uh, within MB Quick Theme. 
Thanks for joining and I hope you have enjoyed this video on making color changes within NV Quick Theme. Have a great day.